One day after the assassination of President John F. Kennedy, Lee Harvey Oswald was led out of Dallas Police Headquarters when nightclub owner Jack Ruby fired a single shot from a 38 snub nosed revolver. Jack Ruby was getting his mugshot taken next, charged with murder. And the next day, November 25, 1963, his fingerprints recorded on an FBI document by the Dallas County Sheriff's Office. We see a lot of JFK items. And now Heritage Auctions near DFW Airport has those fingerprints available Unique for sale. One of the most fascinating that we've seen that's tied to JFK and the assassination. The card has the type name of Jack Leon Ruby, his signature and his fingerprints, recorded November 25th, 1963. Opening bid, $10,000 although Heritage Auctions expects much more. Uh, we expect it to sell for over 40000 but where that final number will be, uh, we'll find out on February 26th. Sources, however, tell WFAA they question whether this government document should be available for auction at all. The archivist for the city of Dallas, who says other Jack Ruby fingerprint cards are already in the city's possession, questions whether this fingerprint card should be available for a private collection. But Heritage Auctions has this letter from the late James Cron, the former sheriff's deputy who kept it, saying he had permission to save items like this from destruction when they were being computerized instead. I'm sure there are several museums and institutions in Dallas who would like to have it, uh, but they'll have to bid like everybody else. Bid on the fingerprints of the man whose single shot still fuels collectors and conspiracies these 58 years later. In Dallas, I'm Kevin Reese.